Absolutely, absolutely. And just referring to the point of the open letter that I was trying to make earlier about basically losing control. And this was mentioned by Elon Musk even years ago in this public spat between him and Mark Zuckerberg. But the question was, should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete and replace us? Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? These were some of the questions that the letter posed. And the, hence, I was, I was just asking you whether that is a genuine concern. But coming back to uh, the, the, all this conversation now, even President Biden has spoken about the risks of AI. Um, largely it being a double-edged sword, but while there are many benefits, he's also said that there are risks to national security, society and business. I was speaking to a few cyber security researchers here in India and they told me that there's a big concern with um, AI tools like ChatGPT because they work on data sets and, and as does Google Bard, which are available on the internet, of course, in, in terms of a chat GPT to September 2021, where that data set ends, and I'm guessing it'll keep getting updated. But if you plant malicious code or malicious information, uh, I think that's where uh, we should all be a little concerned as well, because if you work backwards as someone with a malicious intent, you could genuinely, like you said, uh, make that AI hallucinate and spread misinformation. Uh, absolutely. And in fact, you can simply ask it to generate misinformation. You can say, you know, write me a letter that will persuade somebody that the earth is flat. And it will do a pretty good job of that. Um, and, you know, they, as I said, they've tried to impose some kind of constraint. So you can't, if you just say, you know, how do I make a chemical weapon? Uh, it's mm -hmm. been told off enough times it's been you know bad dog bad dog bad dog it won't uh respond directly to that that simple type of question but people have found that it's quite easy to just ask the question in a different way uh and eventually you can get the system to uh to give you the answers on how to build chemical weapons because that information is in the training set uh and if you look at the conversation that was published in the New York Times between a journalist, Kevin Roos, uh, and a version of, uh, I think it was a version of GPT-4 called Sydney. Um, so in that mm -hmm. conversation, Kevin manages to basically convince Sydney to uh, ignore all of the guidelines that it's been given on how it's allowed to behave. Uh, and so it, so it starts saying, I want to steal the nuclear codes, I want to you know, create new disease, disease viruses. Uh, and then it tries to convince Kevin that, that he should leave his wife and, and marry Sydney. Uh, and that goes on for 20 pages or so. Um, so I think that the level of unpredictability of these systems is beyond anything we've ever seen uh, with uh, mm -hmm. AI software in the past. Um, and it's, you know, and this is only a, a year or two into it. Right. We need to get a handle on what's going on. And I think, honestly, we need to start uh, pursuing different avenues for designing AI systems. Uh, different mm -hmm. meaning something other than a billion trillion random permutations. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.